High grade one twos. Um, a little bit disappointed with myself because I thought I was taking a video earlier of how I did the stitches for the sun rays, but I took photos instead. So, my bad. Um, so, I'm just going to show you how to do the sun rays bit. Um, I'm going to need to start fresh because I've already cut my wool off and tied a knot, but you'll still already have yours there. So, I'm just going to start this off by going to the next part where I want my next sun ray to be about there and I'm going to pull this through and you'll have a notch at the back here I'm just going to quickly tie that sorry you'll already have a knot there because I don't think you'll have cut your wool off you should have your wool needle in the hessian from last week so this week we're going to stitch the sun rays. You've already stitched your circle. All right, so just going to put this up here like that for my next stitch. And you want to have them the same length and sort of the same distance apart as much as possible because then it's going to look nicer. So pulling that wool needle through like that and then come towards the back. Try and leave the same amount of space. Yep, I've got a little bit of a gap down the bottom there in between here and here. I'm going to keep it nice and consistent. And then same thing again. I want my line going out that way, about the same length. So taking your time to make sure that's nice and neat. Okay, so you do that all the way around. And then when you get to the end, the way that I tie knot is probably different to the way that your mum or dad may have been taught, and that's fine. Do whatever works for you. But I just put my wool needle through a stitch close by like that, and there'll be like a big loop that forms. So before I actually tighten that, I just put my wool needle through that loop, and I just pull tight to make a knot, but I don't pull too tight because sometimes the wool can snap and sometimes I'll do that a couple of times I'll just put the wool needle through make sure that loop forms and then poke the needle through that's just a little bit that's been cut off from earlier so pulling tight but not too tight okay so that's how you can finish off with a knot um, but that's okay if you've got a different way